Here's a look at California right now. We are getting hit by some rain. We're going to take a closer look at our county. And right now you can see that Bakersfield is around 50 degrees. We are seeing our heaviest rain above between McFarland and Delano. We're also seeing some heavy rain off of Oildale, but we're seeing patches of snow as well down in Fraser Park and Pine Mountain Club, and then also in the Tehachapi Bear Valley Springs, Breckenridge. So we're going to keep an eye on this. If you're traveling tonight or tomorrow morning, please be safe on the roadways. There could be some slick conditions as to the wind. We're not going to see a lot of strong winds after tonight. We are going to see them early Sunday morning and then they'll progressively get a little stronger throughout the afternoon. But we're tracking three storms right here. The first one is Saturday night tonight into Sunday morning, and then we have our second storm, which is a little weaker. It's going to be late Sunday into Monday morning, and then we're also tracking a third storm on Wednesday, trying to get more details on that. This is around eight o'clock here in in California. The storm is continuously moving west and by Sunday evening we're going to see this second system that's just going to linger over Bakersfield for a little bit of time dissipate and then after Monday morning we're seeing this next storm that's slowly starting to come in on Tuesday and then it will reach us by Wednesday morning but we're still tracking this third system and trying to see how much rain we're going to get. Well tonight overnight rain we're expecting from Bakersfield around one tenth of an inch in Lake Isabella around a half of an inch and then in the mountain area we're seeing around a quarter of an inch so we'll keep an eye on what's going on but our strongest rain is going to be really coming in late tonight around 8 30 a little later as well it's going to slowly leave us by sunday afternoon because it'll linger a little bit early sunday morning but also looking at our snow level it's 4,500 feet so that means fraser park walker pass pine mountain club alto sierra and breckenridge are expecting some overnight snow and as we move forward into looking at tomorrow what our valley is going to look like. Now we are seeing those potential showers in the morning around 30%. We're going to see those mid 50s across the entire valley. Now the valley winds are going to be very strong. They're going to be around 10 miles per hour, so they'll be pretty calm throughout the day. Then we come over into our mountain region. Now Lake Isabella is going to see a high of 49, a low of 40. And then as we come into our mountain area here with Bear Valley Springs, a high of 45, a low of 39, so not as cold as we were seeing last week. But we are going to see a little colder temperatures really here in Pine Mountain Club with a high of 43 and a low of 34 and we're going to stay in these low 40s to low 50s. Now our gusts are going to be around 20 miles per hour. We're going to see some west winds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So no warnings or no alerts yet, but we are going to keep an eye on the winds that are really coming through tomorrow afternoon in the mountain region. Now across the desert, we are going to see some wind gusts around 20 25 miles per hour. Our main wind is going to roughly range around 10 to 15 miles per hour and that 20% chance of showers is going to be moving in from after that storm Sunday morning. We also are seeing these like mid to low 50s across our desert region and our lows are going to be around the high 30s, low 40s. So Mojave, you can see a low of 42 and a high of 53 tomorrow. Now looking at our seven day forecast, Sunday we are expecting those showers in the morning around 30%. Monday, we might see some of those trickling showers, but only 10% is what we're expecting. Then that second, the, excuse me, that third storm is really going to be moving in on Wednesday. We see right now 40% chance of rain. And then by Thursday, those showers as it's moving through our county, 20% chance. We are going to get cool tonight and tomorrow morning and throughout the day. We're going to warm up a little bit, drop down a little cooler on Wednesday compared to the 64 on Tuesday, and then we're going to warm up slowly through the weekend. And then looking across our county, we do see Kern River Valley, Tehachapi, and Fraser Park are expecting those showers tomorrow morning as well. We should see the storm system move a little bit more through that Sunday afternoon, but then that second storm system is going to be bringing some overnight showers Sunday evening into Monday morning, looking around 20% in the Kern River Valley, and it shouldn't be as strong strong and very, very short as well from what we're looking according to the satellite. And then Wednesday again, that rain 40% chance across the county with 
with some sprinkled showers on a Thursday and we'll just continue to do the same system colder tomorrow, a little warmer and then dropping down a few more temperatures on Wednesday and then we're warming back up throughout the rest of the weekend. We hope you stay safe on the roads with these three storms coming in and please make sure that you are aware that there still could be could be some slick conditions on the roads tonight and tomorrow morning and then the following Sunday night into Monday as well.